Well, folks, welcome back to another episode of Brackish Water Outdoors. Uh, we're in a different time in the world uh, with this COVID-19, but today we're in beautiful British Columbia. We're practicing uh, self-isolation here. Uh, we don't have anybody else with us, so uh, it's just going to be me. We're going to see if we can get on some uh, smallmouth. It's the last week of March here, so we actually had a slow spring. It's been a little cooler, but we're going to see if we can get on some uh, crankbait bites and stay tuned because I think we're going to uh, probably jack a few today and the weather's nice better than sitting at home doing nothing, which is so depressing. But anyway, stay tuned. We're going to get on some smallmouth here shortly and uh, bring some action to you. There's one. Oh, there we go. First fish of the day, folks. We're hooked up. First cast. That was pretty good. Oh, decent sizer, too. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. That's probably a nice three pound smallmouth. Fula grub right in the top of the mouth. Look, look how red his gums are. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, nice smallmouth to start the day. So we just landed our first smallie of the day. The thing that sucks here is the wind. It makes it a bit challenging uh, to stay up on these spots. Like, I mean, it'd be nice if we had like an all tracks or something like that, but um, we don't have that. We got the old, uh, the old Maxim, so. Basically just got to sort of use the wind to our advantage, drift up, drift down, and see what happens. When we're working this jig, like the water's only about 44 degrees right now, so you got to just be, just patient, just bounce this hula grub along, get on a quarter ounce football head, and we'll see what happens. A lot of times too, what I'll do when I fish this jig is, this little hula grub, I'll just fish it real slow and I'll just shake it, sort of shake it in place, get those tentacles going, pause it for a second or two, and then Hopefully when it pauses, the uh, small ones will come up and inhale like a little crayfish. This, this place looks super promising. First cast, bam, nailed one. Now a few casts, haven't cut anything. I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you can see out there, but we have another guy fishing in a canoe there. Looks a little sketchy standing up, but uh, yeah, you never know, right? I don't know if he's got a life jacket on either. Whenever you go fishing, folks, by yourself, always wear a life jacket. Always, 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 always. Even if you're not by yourself. You should always have some type of flotation device on. You never know when you fall in and you get hit your head or the other person can't pull you out. So, like I say, always wear a life jacket when you're out here. All right, folks, we're hooked up again. Second one of the day. Not as big as the first one, but in the boat, in the boat she goes. Oh, almost dropped the rod in the lake. There we go. A little late on that hook set, though. Both barely hooked. Just a little gaffer, but number two, not too bad. See, red lips again, right? Off she goes. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna call my shot. So, I don't know if you can see. There's this little island. Little point comes out. We're gonna take this rock crawler right here. We're gonna flip it upside on this island, and we're gonna catch one. Okay, watch, watch. So we're gonna go sort. Oh. That probably isn't good. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Okay, hold on. We'll come back. Okay, take two. Okay, we're gonna flip this right down the side here. Just like that. We're gonna pull ourselves back up with the trolling motor. We're just gonna slowly work that rock crawl right down the side. And I, and I have a feeling we're gonna get one here. This wind does not help. Well, that was sort of embarrassing. It's gone a couple hours here actually with nothing. The weather's been changing on and off, but I think we may have got on a spot in a little pattern. We're fishing the um, like the Z-Man Z TRD, and honestly, I, like, I've never caught anything on this lure, but all of a sudden we're starting to get some action. So I figured I better turn the camera back on and see if we can get uh, some action here for the, uh, for the vlog. All right, folks, we're hooked up here. We got one on that, like the TRD. It's not very big though, like, I don't know. But at least it's some action. We've gone like, like I say, a while without nothing. And finally, 
we uh, we got one, but man, they're not definitely not big pre-spawn. I think this is the smallest of the day for fishing the tournament. I don't even know if this guy's make the 12 inches. Dink, at least a little something. So this is a little bait we're catching them on. It's a little Z-Man. I don't know, they call them like, I think a turd or something. It's got a little mushroom head. They're actually, I've never really fished them much before, but so far it's the only thing today that's really catching them. And we're hooked up again, folks. Oh, oh, little guy. I don't know, this this technique only catches little fish, but at least we seem to be having some, uh, some luck. But yeah, every fish is like the same size. I don't know if these are a bunch of like little males out here, but I'll show you. Come here. Like jacked them right in the roof of the mouth. You can see, he just inhaled that. God, these hooks, I'll tell you what, these things hook up. When you set the hook, they're in there. So you can see, little guy though. There's one. Oh, this one's a little bit better, folks. A little bit better, a little bit better. Seems to be the only thing today that we're getting them on. Like, I, I just don't know why. But they're aggressive when they hit this. So, like, I don't know why they won't bite anything else. But, oh, that's not too bad. It's maybe, like, two pounds. Oh, he's actually fighting pretty good. Oh, someone's calling us. Let's hang that person up. Who's calling us? Oh, private number. Hello? Sorry about that, folks. We had a little phone call interruption but there we go there you go a little bit better we're getting a bit better oh, man those hooks i'm super impressed with those the z-man hooks there we go not too bad let's see it hooked up again folks this little, I don't know, this little Z-Man, little, I don't know, this thing looks like nothing. Like, I just, I don't understand what it is about this thing, but, I mean, they seem to love it. No monsters, like I say, we're catching a lot of males, but they do seem to really, really like it. So, here's another one. Little guy, but, there you go. You can see. Well, folks, we're back here in the Brackish Water Outdoors garage. Um, it's the next day. I, I never finished in, like a um, like an exit to the video, just because uh, you know I tied up the ramp. And um, actually, when I left, we saw a turkey, which is super rare for for the island. And then there was also I, I felt bad because uh, um, there was an accident where uh, like a motorcycle hit a bicycle, and uh, it was it wasn't good. So I didn't really film anything. I just wanted to come straight home after um, after I saw that incident. But anyways, basically on the water, um, it wasn't a great day. The pre-spawn, the fish, it's still still not great. We're still behind schedule. Usually this time of year, it become we're pretty on fire. But um, I'm gonna show you the two rigs of the day. So this little Ned rig, it's like I think like an eighth ounce little um, Z-Man. Bait, I don't know what it does, like it does nothing. It doesn't look like it does anything, but I mean it catches them. The, I really do like these these jigs, but the one downside is I noticed is these little, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little tin piece right there, and I've, I had it break, and then it won't hold the uh, the little the little worm here. So that was the only one downside I know to these things, but, and these hooks are stout, like whew, they definitely hook up. So that was, our number one rig of the day, we caught most of our fish in the afternoon on that. We found like a little pocket of uh, males. And then the first couple fish came on pre-spawn standby. Uh, Yamama, uh, Gamagatsu, football head with their light wire hook. Now the only downside with this hook is, and I wish they would come out with a longer version, is that it doesn't quite cover that five inch um, Yamamoto well. So if they short strike, you're not gonna quite hook them. But um, pre-spawn, this is a hot bait. So I know everyone's like things in the world are changing. Life's crazy right now for a lot of people. So hopefully out there, everyone's staying safe, practice social distancing. Uh, make sure you let your family know how much you, you appreciate it. And like right now, and I always say at the end of the videos, like make sure you live your passion. This is really the time to think about your life, what you're doing, and make sure you're doing something that you really want to do because um, this really shows us how short life is. So remember, live your passion and we'll see you next time.